My name is Father Michael Stala. I am the spiritual director for Hope's Garden, and today we're talking about the prophet Hosea and God's faithfulness and mercy. And the story of the of Hosea, Hosea ends up uh, getting married to a woman who's unfaithful to him, and he thought he would love her so much that she, his love would be enough, and that she'd never want anybody else. But he was shocked to see that he just wasn't able to give that to her. And it turned out it wasn't that so much that she wanted to be filled as she had kind of a, a bad habit. Uh, she didn't restrict herself to that which would bring her true joy. Instead, she was constantly looking for things that would never satisfy. And so he forgives her and brings her back and she does it again. And he forgives her and brings her back and she does it again. Hosea realizes that God had actually asked him to marry her because he wanted it to be a symbol. He wanted his very marriage to symbolize the people of Israel. The people of Israel had received so much in the relationship with God. He just bathed them with so many gifts. And yet for some reason, they, they didn't stay in the Lord's way. They continued to sin and look to foreign idols and nations and ways of living. And they abandoned the way of the Lord. And so many times God had forgiven them and they had come back and they did it again and again and again. So the problem wasn't God. God, God had given more than enough. The problem was this bad practice that they had, this habit to constantly look for something to satisfy, even though they already had it. And they just kept looking out there for the next best thing, only to find there is no best uh, next best thing what we already have is the best thing. And they kept coming back. Now, God, a million times all over, forgave them, just as Hosea kept forgiving his wife. And this is part of God's mercy. But Hosea believed if my wife knew how much I loved her, she would realize she already has everything. She doesn't need to keep looking. And God was showing us, you know that too. You already know how much I love you and you already know I give you everything. So why do you keep doing it? Perhaps what you don't know was something that Hosea had to learn, how much it hurts the Lord. Every time Gomer, Hosea's wife, was unfaithful, Hosea's heart was broken, deeply broken, because he truly did love her. And he risked loving her over and over again with every forgiveness, even though that set him up to possibly be hurt again. And indeed, he was hurt again. And what God was revealing was through this prophet, every time we sin, the heart of God hurts. We break his heart. And God, he forgives us and he brings us back. And he makes his heart vulnerable again. He, he, he brings in us who have such a bad habit of being unfaithful. And he's ris risking that again. You are worth risking even a broken heart for. And he risks and he risks and he risks. Why does he risk over and over again? Because he is so loving. He loves us so much he would endure that over and over again. I mean, think about it. There's almost no way that you could hurt God. You, you, what are you going to do? You're going you're gonna to punch him? You're going to step on his foot? You, there, there's no way to hurt God, except in this way. To injure the heart of God, to break his heart. And it's one of the things that is so unique about humanity. There is no other creature that we know of that is capable of breaking uh, the heart of God that way. So we do recognize in this that it is a, a, a beautiful gift that God has become so vulnerable that he loves us and is merciful to us and has forgiven a million times, even though he knows there's a pretty good chance you're going to follow your old habits. But it's worth it to him to give us that chance over and over. Once you realize what the sin means and what his forgiveness means and how much he risks, it just makes you fall in love with him all the deeper. Why would you do this for us? Because I love you. And then you just want to respond with love. When somebody loves you that much, it does make you want to respond with love. You just didn't realize how much it hurt to be unfaithful.
And upon realizing that, boy, I never want to hurt his heart again. Lord, you have forgiven me a million times. Forgive me once more that I might enjoy your love, true love, not a held back love, not a partial love, a love without defensive walls, a vulnerable, sacred heart. And I will do my very best never to betray you again. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit.